Have you guys ever wondered who holds the most records or who has the most medals in the Olympics or even which Olympic sports is the most popular one to watch? Yeah, I have. Well, when we ask these questions, Michael Phelps seems to be the answer that comes up quite a bit. Every time you Google, it's all you see. And that's because Michael Phelps has become probably one of the greatest Olympic athletes of all time. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm Landon. This guy right here is Danny. And this right here is the top 10 Michael Phelps interesting facts. So starting us off like we always do in at number 10. So first of all, what is all the fuss about Michael Phelps? Well, his records really speak for themselves, but let me tell you guys anyway. He is the most decorated Olympic athlete of all time, with a total of 22 medals across three different Olympics. He also holds the title for most gold medals, standing at 18. That's double the amount of the person coming in at number two. Mental. Okay, so let me put that into a little bit more perspective for you guys. If Michael Phelps was a country with his eight gold medals that he won in 2008 Olympics, he would have finished ninth, tied with Italy for the most gold medals that year. He had way more medals than Team Jamaica, and you have Usain Bolt running in multiple events, winning medals for them. This is insane. All right, in at number nine now, let's talk about how the Michael Phelps story all began. When he was seven years old, Michael first got into swimming to help vent some of the energy he had as a kid. It later turned out that he had ADHD and swimming became a sort of escape for him. At age 11 years old, Michael Phelps took swimming more seriously and he picked up a trainer. His trainer was Bob Bowman and he is actually still his trainer today. And we're going to be talking a lot more about him as this list goes further on. Michael Phelps entered his first Olympics as a 15 year old kid in the 2000 Olympics which was hosted in Sydney, Australia. Michael Phelps became the youngest male to make the US Olympic swim team in 68 years. He didn't earn himself a medal, but you know what? He came super, super close. He was fifth in the 200 meter butterfly event. And that's the event he now holds many records in. Number eight brings us to what makes Michael Phelps a beast in the swimming pool. Yeah, it turns out that some scientists out there actually think his body is almost perfectly designed for swimming. He has a wingspan of like 80 inches, which is way bigger than that. And that apparently helps give him such powerful strokes in events like the butterfly. He also has a size 14 feet that apparently bend back 15% more than the average swimmer, which some scientists think basically turn them into real life human flippers. He's also very flexible in his knees and elbows, which allows him to squeeze that little bit more power in every single stroke. Basically, he's a machine. At number seven, Michael Phelps has a lot of swimming records, so let's quickly find out what they are. Michael Phelps currently has six official world records in different events. His first world record was on August 11, 2008, and that was for the four by 100 meter freestyle relay race and that was when he was on a team with three other amazing swimmers and actually during that race Phelps didn't record the fastest time on his team Jason Lezak did and he beat out another team member by only a second. Michael Phelps' most dominating record is a 200 meter butterfly, the event he became the best in. I don't think he's gonna beat his record this year if he's getting a little bit older. So in the 200 meter butterfly, he has the eight fastest times. Like that is insane. The most recent record was back in 2009 and that was his fastest time of one minute, 51 seconds, 51 milliseconds. All right, moving on. Next up now at number six, we're gonna be talking about the doping controversies. After his incredible 2008 Olympic performance, that saw him walk away with eight gold medals. A few people out there thought there was something a bit fishy going on, that his results were too good to be true and that he might be taking performance enhancing drugs. Even though he had already passed all of the Olympic tests, he took part in Project Believe, a US project where Olympians volunteered to undergo a further nine more drug tests. Obviously, he passed all nine of them and the answer was pretty clear. He really was that good. At number five, let's talk about his retirement. Although Michael Phelps is the most dominating swimmer of all pretty much all time, and especially in 2012, after winning four gold medals and two silver medals, he decided that it was time to retire. He was 27 years old when he made this huge announcement to the world, but in 2014, Michael Phelps tried to see if he can qualify again, and at 29 years old, he did. He qualified for this year's real Olympic Games. So now he has come out of retirement, and he's been training really, really hard to continue to add on to his legacy. In December of last year, in a press conference, Michael Phelps said that he is 100% done after this year of swimming in the Olympics. He's gonna be 35 years old and he says that's, a, that's too old. It's very impressive to be competing at a high level already for like the past three or four Olympics. 
All right, moving on. We got our number four now. Michael Phelps has had the same trainer since he was 11 years old. Bob Bowman. Now Bob was an accomplished swimmer himself, having swam for Florida State University in his youth. Phelps said that even though Bob can be a bit of a drill sergeant at times, a little bit tough on him, training with him is the smartest thing he's ever done in his career, and he would never swim for anyone else. Well you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it seems that Bob Bowman ain't broke. Alright, moving on now, as with many people in the public spotlight at number 3, we're going to be talking about the controversies. Phelps was actually arrested age 19 for drunk driving, and then 5 years later, a picture of him smoking marijuana with a water pipe appeared online. That lost him Kellogg's as a sponsor, and a 3 month suspension from swimming events was slapped on him. Then in 2014, he was arrested again for drunk driving in Baltimore, and this time he was banned from all competitions for 6 months. And he he also got 18 months of supervised probation. Looking back, he said that time was one of the hardest few months he's ever had to go through, and he's happy to move forward. Number two, we almost never had a Michael Phelps because Michael Phelps was actually afraid to put his head under the water. Well there was one stroke that he could do and that was the backstroke. He learned to master that at a very young age and you know what thank god for that one stroke because Michael Phelps wouldn't have been able to build up confidence to become one of the greatest swimmers of all time today if he didn't do the backstroke. He actually overcame this fear so you know what his biggest fear actually became his biggest accomplishment in life. Huh. Okay, finally, we've reached number one, and we're going to be talking about the Michael Phelps Foundation. After his 2008 Olympic success, Phelps got a $1 million bonus from one of his sponsors, Speedo. He used that money to set up the foundation, which had a goal of promoting swimming and promoting healthier lifestyles. Two years later, the foundation developed the I'M program, which taught children the importance of being active and being healthy through swimming. Then the foundation started two other programs. One gave funding to talented young swimmers out there and the other gave Michael Phelps signed swimming caps to swimming organizations to put on auction. And speaking of swimming caps, Landon, did you know he actually wears two of them? What the heck is the video? Oh, hey guys. You guys should watch my previous video, which is over here. Over here. You guys can watch this video, just click on it, annotate it. And then the other video that we've done in the past is right over here. You guys can actually click on that. And, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well. You guys can go right down here. Or you guys you guys can do it a few times, I think. Just, just hit it, over here, subscribe. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I don't know what's going on here, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah.